Almost all major asset classes have pulled back significantly in the past few days and weeks, leaving very few places to hide from the pullbacks. Helium and HNT, of course, followed suit, bringing HNT below a very important level and back into a range where we have seen HNT stay for months. The next few trading sessions will be very important for HNT in determining if it has the momentum to break back above this level and continue to move higher. Despite the pullback in absolute price, we have seen a nice relative performance against its peers showing there are much more long-term holders and perhaps more and more miners that are hodling, not to mention the benefit from lockup periods with validators. We have seen a nice bounce over the past 24 to 48 hours, which leaves us with one question, will it continue? We will also touch on a new quick and easy tool that might help people get their hotspot miners up, running, and earning HNT today. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. I know it has been a while. Unfortunately, I was pretty sick for a few weeks. I'm starting to feel much, much better, almost 100% now. So you should start to see more regular videos here on the channel again. Um, I was away for almost three weeks, it seems like, which is pretty crazy, but all back, all better. Still have been following, of course, Helium, h and that hasn't stopped, but I'm back now. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to stay up to date in the latest news, analysis, information, tips, and tricks here in the Helium community. Today, we will be talking mostly about the recent downturn in price here on HNT. We've seen a big pullback from our all-time highs, new all-time highs that we reached above $26, and we have slowly come down, down, down. Today, we are going to touch on this daily chart, we're gonna to touch on the weekly chart that we could see here, and we will also actually touch on the six hour chart briefly. Uh, we'll take a look at the relative performance here, and we'll take a look at a new Helium status tracker app here, uh, or, or tool, you could call it, um, that helps give you a quick glimpse of your, of your hotspot, make sure everything is okay at a quick glance. It's not complicated, it's very simple. We'll touch on that as well. Looking here now at the chart, the daily chart, of course, we all remember this all-time high, this previous new all-time high that we reached uh, back when Bitcoin was reaching close to 50K, and we have recently come down with the broader crypto markets and global asset markets. We have seen a downturn here. This was the key level we were watching, which is around $19.50. Very important level here on the chart. There are multiple instances where we have come and tested this area and come back down. You can see this range we've been was sort of trapped by this $19.50 for quite a while. Big test here, and then we proceeded to pull back and come off of the that strength down to here, the sort of double bottom we see here, and into this major rally. Now we're back below. You can see that we were testing this level more recently for days, bouncing up and off and below, and finally falling below, confirming that breakout down, and we now find ourselves here in between these two major support and resistance lines. Now look, we have had this big green daily candle here, which is great to see. It uh, it was a larger green candle percentage-wise than a lot of uh, H&T's peers here, which is good to see. But the question is, will this continue? Will we see, will this next candle be red? Will the next three be red? Will they be green? Where will it go? How long will it take for us to retest this $19.50 or 60 cent range and will it, we have the momentum to break through we, we can see here on the macd there has been a very small positive divergence here a very small positive divergence which look it's worth noting it's not accompanied by any uh positive divergence on the rsi so it's not a very strong indicator but it's there you can see we had a lower low in the price we had a higher low in the macd that is a good sign that might show that some of this negative, uh, this bearish momentum is slowing. However, it is alone. It is not confirmed by anything else. So it's not huge, but it is there worth noting. Now to look at the weekly chart, you guys know I like to do this a lot. I like to do this quite often, almost as much as I can, because in these downturns, in these periods of uh, of price decrease, we have to not really, it's not really the a matter of being smart enough to know what to do. It's really a matter of having the stomach to deal with it. And we have to put these kinds of downturns and these pullbacks into perspective. 
Um, and that is what we do here on the weekly chart. You can see I like to plot all of the largest decrease percentage wises in price. And we can see the three most recent. Actually, there's a fourth one here that is actually the biggest. I am going to show you that right now. So if we take a look here and we get from that top and we go to this bottom here, you can see it's sort of right there. It's hard to get because uh, let's get it right there. So you can see here there's been a 51% decrease in the price, a 60%, 58%. And right now we're only at. I say only because that's really where we are. We're only at 38%. So let's not, look, we have to be prepared for there to be a fourth red candle here. That is very, very possible. We could have another 50% downturn. And of course, as the price moves higher into the 20s, these 50% pullbacks do hurt more because the, the dollar value is much greater than a 50% pullback here. This was only two, let's call it $2.50, decrease of $2.50 per H&T. Whereas up here, we're seeing we could we could potentially see fifteen dollars per H and T decrease in price, which is a much larger absolute dollar value than these previous pullbacks. Even this sixty percent pullback, fifty eight percent pullback. This be if this turns into a fifty, fifty five, sixty percent pullback, it is going to be the it is going to hurt more than all of the others. But look, we have to be prepared for these kinds of things. So guys, I like to show you guys this. I like to be prepared for these types of things. I'm not a, this isn't financial advice. This is just what I'm looking at, how I'm interpreting it. I'm not a financial advisor, but this is what I see. Um, and this is how I sort of get through these slumps. And look, honestly, it, it won't be a bad idea to, if we start to see a 50% pullback, 55% pullback in price to start maybe accumulating more agent at those levels, depending on what the status of the, of the broader markets are. And, and pending that h and is continuing its development and the good news and all of the, the good things that drive h and T's price up higher and build the network stronger. So this is just a small exercise. We'll come back to this every few videos. Very important to keep track of. Let me know. Do you guys think this is the bottom here? I don't know. Just for the sake of this exercise, let's see what a 50% pullback in price would look like we would be somewhere around here, around the $13 range. So guys, just for uh, for the for the sake of our stomachs, let's just imagine a $13 H&T. It is possible. It has happened three times before. We've seen over 50% decreases in the price of H&T. A $13.37 uh, H&T is where that would bring us. Again, this could very well be the bottom and we could go up from here. Uh, this 37% decrease could be it, especially considering that that is $10 uh, per H&T, that 37% considering the value of H&T today. But let's see. Let me know what you guys think if that's if this is the bottom, if we're going to go lower. Of course, it is very much dependent on, on Bitcoin, where that all goes, where the broader markets go, how everything turns out globally. But very interesting to take a look at. Now, guys, we don't spend much time here on the six-hour chart but we are going to today because we are getting into a very, this is a very interesting pullback here. We've seen this is the previous all time highs on the six hour. And I drew this little line here. I think that this is a decent indicator of the trend here. And of course we would look for this price to break above this line and stay there. And then of course we would be looking at this major uh, resistance level. However, I think that this price in the nearest short term trading pattern, I think this is the trend line and the price we will be looking at. We will hope to break this this level and move higher. But a test of this level here, this trend line here is going to determine where we move, I think, in the very short term, the next few days. But we will have to take a look. Of course, I don't like to use anything less. I, I really don't like to use anything less than the, the daily scale here because I, this is a uh, I'm not here to speculate on the daily moves, the weekly moves. I'm here as a long term investor, a believer in the in the network and the the project here. So uh, but it is nice always to keep an eye out on what these short term levels might be. I think that this trend line is a good indicator of that. Now, if we look here at coinmarketcat.com, where we always uh, end up, we can see that we have had good relative performance amongst our peers. 
Uh, of course, we've we've had an 8% pullback over the last seven days. But if we look against a lot of our peers here, we see 15%, 16%, 14%, 20%, 16%, 10%. 10%. We have been holding our ground better than a lot of these other coins. Of course, we have some outliers here up 34%. Uh, we have some that are doing better, down only 4%, down only 4%. But this gives us a good indicator on how we are holding up against the assets that are the most similar to Helium by market cap in the crypto space. It is always good to see us outperforming these other cryptos on a relative basis. Of course, we did make it close to the 55 rank spot um, while we we're at all time highs. We would like to see us start gaining ground and moving back into the high 50s. That'd be very nice. But as of right now, we are holding steady in the low 60s, which is still very, very good. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, there is a very new, very easy, simple tool that uh, this guy here on Twitter, BFG Neil, uh, has created. And he is right, because I have noticed this on the Explorer there are a significant amount of hotspots that are offline or not connected to the internet, and I don't understand why. I have to imagine that so many are offline or not connected to the internet because they don't know that they're not connected. A lot of times the Helium Explorer or the Helium app might not be working 100%. So this guy, props to him, has created this very simple, easy tool here that helps us track and it gives us a very quick look at our hotspot to make sure that it is online and it will tell you if it's online. Uh, very quickly, very simply, there's not there's not all these colors and, and different values and stuff like that. So it's it's awesome. And he has a uh, his address here, which is really cool. Uh, he must have spent a, a good amount of time making this. So if you wanted to help donate, support people that are helping the community, there's the spot to do it. So let's take a look here. If we just search red, I know red is a common thing. You can see here, obviously you could type in your own hotspot. You can see API status online. That is what you wanna see, very quick, very simple. It's just one more check you could do uh, every week, every day, whatever you wanna do to make sure. You can see here, some of them are offline. That is a concern. You wanna be connected to the internet. Um, you can, of course, click into these and it'll give you some more information. Uh, but once you see, what I would use this for is just to make sure that your Helium API says online. You could then click and it'll bring you to the Explorer where it shows a million other things. Very cool, very nice, easy tool. He does mention that there'll be some more features coming to it, which is great. But like I said, anyone who's out here building things for the Helium community is, it's just, it, that's awesome. Really great to see, helping everybody, um, especially a simple, quick and easy tool like this is, is just it's just one more thing to help us all make sure that we are doing the right thing and help us all help each other. So guys, that is all I have for us today. Once again, I am hoping to stay healthy now moving forward. I hope there'll be more, much more regular videos here on the channel to keep everybody updated. I hope this helped. If you want, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel, supports the channel and it'll help me make more videos and keep everybody updated. But just like that, this video is over. I will see you next time.